Hey kids, remember, everything you're about to learn is real! All the wonders that a single class can find They decide to shut their mouths and open up their minds Sex and shit and crime and pain All this crap will be explained And while we're at it, let's try to have some fun we're Talking about what, 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 what And that's when I finally bred this, a plant that can feel pain. Can we just have a normal detention this week? Oh, where's the fun in that? If you don't like my detentions, then stay out of trouble. Why are you here anyway? This fucking fascist school is punishing me for distributing condoms and promoting safe sex. Whoa, Minnie's talking about sex. Whoa, <laughs> sex. Uh, sex. 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 See, this is the problem. Sex is a beautiful, natural thing. Oh, for humans, sure. But for many other animals, sex is a nightmare of disfigurement and pain. Wait, don't. What? What's that? You want to learn more? No, come on. Okay! Everyone, get in. I'm not going to walk into some magical pussy. I'll do it. Come on, this will be fun. <laughs> Antichinus, uh, uh, a marsupial rodent from Australia. He's about to have his first mating season. Virgin! Oh, gee, yeah. I guess I am. But but not for long. But, oh, geez, yeah. Don't listen to them. Sex doesn't have to be this big, scary thing. Oh, boy, my date. You've got this. Just listen and be patient. Oh, you won't have to worry about that. These fuckers can mate for up to 14 hours straight. 14 hours? I'm not even awake that long. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> no one knows what they're doing their first time. This is also his last time. He gets only one chance to mate in his entire life, so his body is devoting all its resources <laughs> His veins are coursing with a cocktail of testosterone and stress hormones, which make his fur fall out. <laughs> Anything not devoted to mating will shut down. He'll bleed internally. His immune system will stop fighting off infections. He'll get gangrene. <laughs> For the next three weeks, he will do only two things. Slowly dissolve into mush and fuck! So he's a mindless sex zombie? Yes. Like Brett. Yes! This is fucking hot. Hey, I heard screaming, so I thought I should definitely come in. Run, bitch, run! <laughs> And the same thing is happening to every other male out there. Oh, so he dies from fucking too much? So then all the men are dead. That's right. Nice. nice. Oh, you kids are freaks. Now everyone, get back in the pussy. Body. Home of lice, worms, and of course, bed bugs. Mm. Oh, parasites, of course. Have I ever told you about parasites? Oh my yes. god, yes. Please, no, just stop. Stop. Just stop. Just stop. <laughs> Who are we on right now? Oh, probably some hairy, sweaty guy from New York. Oh, gross. New York. If you think New York is gross, and you should, wait until you see how those bed bugs have sex. It's called traumatic insemination. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> you shouldn't. The male bedbug has a sharp, sword-like penis. Okay, great. 
cute and they have sex and it cuts her vagina, right? And it hurts and we're shocked and we scream and you laugh and blah, blah, blah. Do we have to do this? No, oh, Mindy, no. He doesn't go in through the vagina. But then, no. He goes straight through the abdomen. <laughs> She doesn't have any kind of, like, uh, opening down there? No, she does. That's where eggs come out. Then why are they not mating through that? Oh, gross, Mindy. That's where eggs come out. But, like, she has to survive in order to give birth, right? Like, she has to be fine. It's still a pretty terrible experience. It's an open wound like any other. She'll need time and energy to heal, and the wound is prone to infection. <laughs> That's not all. Bed bugs will occasionally practice homosexuality. Oh, hey, what's up? Ah! 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 God damn! Ah! Everyone is getting stabbed with penises. That's right. Even occasionally other species of insect. Hey, I heard screaming, so I thought I should definitely come in. In those cases, the other insect's immune system can react against the bed bug's sperm, like an allergy. It can be so extreme that they'll swell up, blacken, and die within 24 hours. But I got dinner plans. Fuck, this is insane. <laughs> really? I thought sex was Beautiful. Stop. Isn't that what you said, Mindy? Stop it. And natural. Is this natural to you, Mindy? Yeah, it's nature. <laughs> well, it's not pretty when you have desperate males who will do anything to fuck. But I bet female dominated consensual sex would be just fine. Only one way to find out. <laughs> Let's talk about hyena. Female hyenas completely dominate social groups. Even the lowest-ranked female is dominant over the highest-ranked male. Interesting. Females have complete control over sex. When it happens and with whom. Sexual coercion is impossible. Look at all the stuff we're learning. Subordinate clan members even lick the genitals of dominant members. Nice. Which, of course, means that no female would ever debase herself to lick a penis. Nice. Well, this sounds just great. So, where are all these strong, powerful hyena women? Ooh, here's one right now. Oh. Hi, everybody. Female hyenas have genitals that look almost exactly like penises. Pseudo-penises. Pseudo-penis, I got that. Seven-inch long clits that protrude from the body with little bulbs on the end. Hot. But th those are balls. They are not balls. Her labia are fused together and filled with fat deposits, which makes them look like balls. Mm hmm So how do they have sex? With enormous difficulty. It's like putting one penis inside another penis. Oh. Doggy style. What? Oh. How? I mean, dogs. Who want to see? No, 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 no. absolutely no. not. Although I am having a lot of trouble picturing it. If it's hard to picture, imagine how hard it is to do. Wait, 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 wait. That is crazy. They have sex through their clits. That sounds incredibly painful. Not as painful as childbirth. No, there is no way. That's right. The birth canal <gasps> goes through <gasps> her clitoris. <gasps> That's no, gonna hurt. No, no, how? Okay, I'm about to give birth. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's a two-pound oh. cub clawing its way through a one-inch opening in a clitoris. Birthing <laughs> tears the clitoris in half, making a bloody wound that takes several weeks to heal. Nine to 18% of females will die during their first birth, and 60% of all cubs die from suffocating inside the clitoris. <laughs> Wait, there's one thing I still don't understand. What is a clitoris? That's the most fucked thing anyone has said today. Yeah, I don't think I can top that. We should probably head back. Ah, see, Mindy? For many species, sex is a painful, potentially deadly nightmare. Then why do they do it? Because it's their primary drive. The meaning 
meaning of their very existence. They are compelled to painfully fuck and reproduce in an unending cycle of misery. But humans are the same. We, too, are merely vessels for our DNA. It drives us to strip naked and then sweaty howling. We give ourselves over to humiliation, heartbreak, and the pain of childbirth so that this little molecular overlord can see itself replicated into infinity. Is that beautiful, man? Do you think that's beautiful? Oh, stop it! Because I do! Now, get out there! Yeah. But seriously, what what is a clitoris? <laughs>